Uh, hello guys, it's Aida here from 30 Nords and I have prepared something really special for you. I have prepared mixed media kit, uh, which is perfect for beginners and I will also explain how to use them. We have uh, five mediums in this kit and five A6 watercolor papers and I will be explaining and showing uh, what to do with uh, those mediums, how to create interesting effects, uh, uh, great backgrounds, how to work with them and how to mix them. So this is um, uh, actually the invitation for you to try to play and create um, different um, backgrounds uh, just uh, for you to understand how the medium works and just uh, basically have fun so we can um, we can use those uh, paints in different uh, ways as i said color gloves are watercolor powders with uh, shimmer and rainbow colors um, are also uh, powders but they work a little bit different uh, so basically they are both watercolor um, powders but color glows are with shimmer and rainbow colors are without shimmer but with an extra grain so you will see uh, how uh, great effects we can achieve with them and the liquid medium is a kind of a gel medium in liquid so it is sticky it is transparent when it's dry but you can mix it with different mediums and we will mix it here with uh, our watercolors and watercolor powders so first technique is um, start with water and uh, just spray uh, water on your watercolor paper and uh, we will start to work on wet surface so uh, on the right i will use rainbow colors uh, and when our background is wet you can see the paint already reacts with water and it looks like a little bit like fireworks i would say so it will just sprinkle and work on the background by itself you just you don't have to do anything of course you can always add more powder more water but you can see the pigments are really really high um pigmented uh they are really high pigmented uh, and also the colors are really intense so you don't have to add a lot and on the left, I'm using color glows. The colors are not that intense. It depends on the color, of course, but this turquoise is not really intense. It's uh, um, one of the lightest colors in our color palette, but I wanted to uh, have different shades, uh, but all the colors match uh, together and you can mix them the way you like. So I'm adding some goldstone as well. You can see it's more intense. And the more powder you get, uh, the more powder you add, the more intense the color is. If it's too intense, you can uh, add more water and uh, just make it lighter and um, make it lighter. And um, liquid medium, uh, you can mix with uh, paints, but you can also just uh, um, add a little bit on top. So. Uh, basically with those five mediums you can create different different effects uh, here I'm mixing a color glow with liquid medium you can you can just splash with it you can paint with it and uh, you can mix the colors if you like so you have um, plenty of possibilities with only five mediums uh, here I will mix a liquid medium with a rainbow color and the paint is acrylic, like liquid acrylic paint and it will be waterproof when it's dry. So remember, um, rainbow colors and color gloves are like watercolors. So even when they are dry, they will still re react with water. But when you mix the paint, the, the powder with liquid medium, you will get an acrylic paint. You can also sprinkle with uh, a liquid acrylic uh, on your wet surface, so it will also react with your um, with your background, with your wet background. Uh, I like um, the effect; uh, it's kind of a lack of color. It will be more uh, shimmery 
and it will also react you can also make some drippings you can um, play with your background uh, as long as you like uh, i'm here showing you the easiest way to work and uh, the easiest way to get nice results so i don't have to think about it the medium is kind of work by themselves as you can see and um, just by adding water and some powder and a little bit of liquid medium optionally it's it's just a great uh, way to play with mediums and the next technique uh, i'm playing on the dry surface so we don't have uh, we don't add water first we just add powder and there is another great technique. Uh, you can add your water differently. Firstly, I wanted to show you, you just splash with water. So I'm adding some powder and then I'm, I'm splashing with water. And uh, the background is really nice and really interesting. You have like uh, concentrated um, colors, like a stains of colors. Uh, so you can also achieve different effects. So first the, add some um a rainbow color uh, you can splash with water but you can also splash, splash with a liquid medium and then add some water and the effect is a little bit different so what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to uh, encourage you to experiment to mix mediums to try different different techniques and you will see how great uh, this um, experiment is and uh, how great effects you can get and you don't you don't have to be a mixed media artist it's just so easy this mixed media techniques are so easy that it is perfect for everyone so also you can add some um, powder and then sp uh, sprinkle with water like with um, atomizer uh, and the effect is more intense a little bit different you can add more color more water but see this is so so easy to make so um, you can leave all the pages to dry naturally or you can use uh, your heat gun uh, i like to leave them if i have time uh, overnight if i don't have time i'm just using a heat gun so uh, the last example is just painting with water so here i have my color glow with water and here I have my uh, metallic paint made with um, color glow and acrylic liquid medium. You can see the difference when I'm splashing with water, the top layer is reacting. So it's uh, behaving like a watercolor and um, the bottom part with liquid acrylic is not reacting like watercolor anymore because it's more like acrylic uh, paint. But you can also mix all the techniques uh, on the same background when you mix your color glow or rainbow color with liquid acrylic you basically get your um your paint your acrylic paint with color glow you get acrylic metallic paint and i'm just painting um uh here a leaf which is like a clay um clay mold uh made uh shape but you can uh, paint with that paint all kinds of chipboards and elements this is basically liquid acrylic paint when you mix it with uh, our liquid acrylic so then you can add another layers and more layers you can mix the mediums together you can splash you can paint basically um, try to um, see and observe the reaction um, of course the result is never like really uh, you are never really sure what you will get but this is the fun of mixed media that you play and uh, you are always surprised how wonderful it looks and uh, you can add more liquid medium just uh, to see the reaction how the color mixes of course you will get some shades of green when they are wet so if you don't like um, any green shades you have to dry each layer before adding another one but i kind of like this uh, this idea so um the next kit is like a supplementary a complementary uh kit uh, for the first one so in the first one you've got mediums and here is another kit which i have prepared with 
super great price for you. Uh, it's a set of um, products also from Ferdinand. So first is a stamp and those white uh, spaces, which I have left, uh, they are perfect for stamping. Uh, so you can use this stamp to uh, add some contrast and just um, use them for this blank uh, spots. And if you have a black marker, it's also perfect for these techniques. You can draw a frame, you can do. And uh, the nice technique I like is um, kind of uh, draw all the outlines uh, all the of the drippings, of the splashes I got during my um, process. So this is really nice and this looks really uh, interesting when you just draw over uh, your dry background just be sure make sure it's uh, it's dry first so uh, in this uh, second uh, complementary kit you also get white acrylic ink which is perfect for splashing it's very like heavy ink so you can water uh, add some water if, if you want but uh, you can just use it as it is and with liquid medium and some uh, old papers uh, old newspapers or old books, you can also use acrylic uh, liquid medium as a glue. Uh, just be careful because it will be react with water. So just paint your um, your newspaper first and then a stick. And voila, you have basically fabulous uh, mixed media background. And then we can use it for uh, cards, ATCs, tags, uh, art journals, whatever you like. So here are the um, ready to go examples from what I just uh, made them really easy uh, cards. Uh, you have all the things in your complementary kit. You have uh, papers, you've got uh, this ephemera um, exam uh, elements. You just stick it and voila, it's ready. So very easy, very fun to do, very fun to create. So if you want to buy those two kits, just um, go to the 13 Arts shop and then you can buy both of them in great, great prices, great deal, really. And at the end, I wanted to show you some cards I have made using the same two kits, uh, the same techniques. Uh, so you can uh, use your Travel the World papers uh, to create cards. Just put two layers of papers and the third layer on top is our mixed medium paper and then we can add some extra elements from the papers from ephemera and uh, you can use some extra uh, shaping by black marker just uh, draw around you can also use some black in for the edges and voila we have uh, great great and uh, modern cards so if you will make some uh, works inspired by this uh, video please share with me, tag me on social media, um, share with me with, uh, with co in comments what you think about it. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.